Hey there, this is my first ever YouTube video, and it's going to be, uh, we're going to do a, I think we're going to do a little series, little web series of tutorials, which I've uh, found mm, some annoying, but some really, really helpful, as uh, I've learned uh, different things about my Chromebook, different things about um coding web development um really really good stuff on some of these videos so i figured i'd make one for people like me that are not you know not completely um brain dead when it comes to computers but i'm not going to be doing any linux or um crazy stuff like that where i'm running I don't even know Ubuntu's and whatever they call them. I don't even know what they are. They just, it all sounds like gibberish to me. So a lot of people, when they uh, talk about web development on a Chromebook, you know, they're like, oh no, I can, I can install Linux and I can do this and that and this. All you have to do is go into this mode and that mode and know all these weird uh, things you type into the old screen from 1991 and, you're good to go. But um, anyway, this is for people that are uh, want to take advantage of a lot of these uh, cloud technologies that are just crazy good. But anyway, this, uh, this is about a site called CodePen. So if you've got a Chromebook, or, or even if you don't have a Chromebook, anyone would want to use this. It's great. Uh, I think schools use this. I think uh, all kinds of um, businesses, uh, that want to teach people about coding or whatever, use this. This is really a great, a great tool. Anyway, it's called CodePen. You go there, make an account, uh, just like any place else. You know, give them your email, give them a picture, tell them where you're from, whatever. Um, nothing fancy. And uh, basically, it's this is the uh, home screen. So you've got all these things called pens, which are just little mini kind of web apps or websites. People do pretty cool stuff. Um, no idea what any of these are, but that looks like a, like a Van Gogh. But uh, people do like mini little things. Sometimes they're they can be bigger websites, but you know, the pens are usually uh, they're single page. They're single page. Um, they have another thing for projects that's longer. Um, but uh, oh, this is cool. Some kind of bouncy ball simulation thing. You find all kinds of you can find all kinds of stuff like this on here, just random people messing around with animation. Um, crazy, but it's it's pretty cool. So we'll go back. Um, computer's running a little bit slower um, when I'm recording. I've got this new recording software or whatever. It's uh, Screencastify, but uh, we're running a, a Two, uh, one and a half, two-year-old, yeah, two-year-old Acer uh, R11 or, R, or maybe Acer 11, something like that. Nothing, nothing fancy here. So it's running a little bit slower with this uh, with this video recording, which is okay. Um, so anyway, I'll show you how this works. It's pretty simple. You basic functionality is you go and uh, create a pen. Just go to new pen. So. And what you get is a blank screen, and you get three boxes. You've got HTML, CSS, and JS. So you've got JavaScript, you've got your style sheet, and you've got your hypertext markup language. So, and this is going to be your preview of, of the website you build. So you don't need to get, you don't need to download anything. You don't need to buy anything. Um, this is a free website. There is a paid version that has like cooler stuff. Um, but it's not one of those situations where you're really going to ever run into, at least in the beginning, you're not going to run into any reason why you'd want to pay. I mean, what they give you for free is more than enough to get you started, um, making web pages. So you can change your, uh, view there, a lot of settings in there. You can double click on this and get the full thing. You can drag. This, 
you know, make your preview really small, you know, all depends on how you want to work. I like to have like a full thing when I'm working on one section. I don't like it all broken up. You know, sometimes I like if I'm doing a lot of it at once, I like to make it big. Then I'll look at the preview later. Anyways, you can make it, title it and save it right here. You don't have to save anything on your on your hard drive at all. Everything's saved to your uh, account up here. So this is our test for YouTube. Put spaces in there. I don't know why I didn't. Test for YouTube. And boom, you're right in there. I just click save and I'd save it. Boom, you're right in your HTML. It puts in, uh, I'll show you this first actually. I should. You click on this little settings gear over here and it puts in, you don't have to do, it's, it puts in the HTML tag, it puts in the head tag. Within the head tag, you've got meta uh, link tags and script tags. So you don't have to do it. You, you're automatic, you're pretending like someone's already wrote the body tag. You're just writing what's inside and it's going to put everything else together for you. So in here, um, you can put other stuff like in the head, you'd have like maybe a link to um, a certain font from Google or whatever that you might want. Um, then you got CSS and you can link to external style sheets like uh, Bootstrap uh, and stuff like that. Um, we'll probably cover those later in a later video. But you can do a lot of different stuff. Same with the JavaScript. You can load up um, libraries and other things. Boom, like tons of them right there, like uh, jQuery and stuff like that. Uh, D3, uh, GSAP. And you can make it so it won't preview automatically. Um, sometimes that comes in handy. And you can take a screenshot. You can give you a title here, description here. And these kind of come into play like outside of here. Like they'll come into play like um, if you move your pen somewhere else. Or like when someone's looking at that screen out there, kind of like the a Facebook feed, if you will, it'll have like the description. You'll be able to see that in a little uh, thumbnail tags for searching um, but anyway it's simple you just come in here and yeah I would never never do that um, and never load up if I wasn't recording video so anyway come in here and uh, I'll give it a title or we'll give it a heading hello YouTube and this is a cool part too it automatically I didn't see, I didn't make that H1 pop up that's going to close this heading heading tag. The software did that. So I just hit enter and it's got predictive, um, I guess I call it predictive text, which is really cool. So then you could go to just double click on that and you're in your style sheet and you just go H1, give it some style. And you'd say, I don't know, you'd say text align, all the text, you just type TE and all the different text things pop up, text align. We'll say center, which I can't spell. Center, boom, it, right in your preview, you're automatically centered. Then you say, oh, color. Uh, it's my aunt's birthday today. <laughs> I knew that, but I'm glad it reminded me. Was that Facebook reminding me? Hardly even go on there, but I still get the feeds. So we go H1 that, okay, so we've got that. And then add a paragraph tag. This is my first ever video. Blah, blah, blah. Video for YouTube. You get the idea. The, the cool part is everything just is previewed right ahead of you. So you can come in here and we're running out of time. Come in here and test whatever you want. And it's easy peasy. Center that. Bang. You're good to go. The countdown has begun. For you. See, I'm, not, I'm too cheap to buy the, uh, it's like $24 for the year and I'm just too, still too cheap to buy it. We'll see how I like it. And if uh, I keep doing these, maybe then I'll be able to make a video longer than 10 minutes. Goodbye. <laughs>